All right. Uh, Lawrence Fox, Holly Valance, thank you so much for sitting down with me here at the Aussie Wire. We just had a technical problem, so I'm going to re-ask you a couple of questions. We're here at the inaugural ARC conference, the, the very, very first one. We're hearing about a better story. Why is a better story important? I think anything's got to be better than what's going on in the world right now. I feel like we're in a ginormous mess. Um, I found out about this about nine months ago and it sounded like like-minded people with similar views that were often referred to as the silent majority and majority being the most important word. So it's quite cool to be in the same room with people and not be called a mental patient, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been called a lot of things, Lawrence. You're, you're, you're in controversy at the moment. Um, you're here because of something that's, that's made you go, we need a better story. What's it for you? Well, I, I think we're witnessing the decline and the self-flagellation and then suicide of the West. So uh, I don't want to go down that road. I've got two kids, same as uh, Holly, and I want my kids to grow up in a freer, more optimistic, brighter world, a world with less censorship, more expression. And actually, we're living in a great giant lie, which is that somehow the West is evil, and it's not. It's never been more tolerant, welcoming, and... Uh, accepting of, of different points of view but the problem is with the equity agenda and the diversity equity and inclusion moves what we've got is we're pandering to the lowest con common denominator and we need to stop doing that we need to start celebrating meritocracy and excellence and giving this silent majority uh, an opportunity to be noisier yeah so how can a, a talk fest like this actually make a difference there's a lot of people very cynical of arc and of, of events like this how could this possibly translate into a real world difference well, the fact that it's massive on day one, on its first time round, shows you that it's not like two or three of us that think sure, this way. Sure. And I didn't know what to expect before today. And this is Mammoth, a very well-organised yeah, event, yeah. like exceptionally well-organised yeah. um, in terms of IT and communications and connections. And I think because of the connection making and how they facilitated it, we're all going to be able to create all these new relationships and from that we can do stuff. Get I, wish I, knew, I wish I knew how to use the app. Yeah, I'm going to help <laughs> him with that. Granddad needs a little hand. Granddad needs the app. So previously, these sorts of global networking events have been the purview of, of the left, if I can use the, 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 the simplification. We see people jetting into various parts of the world mm -hmm. to fight climate change and, and try and achieve these sorts of things. Do you believe that art could actually become a genuine counter to something like the World Economic Forum and so forth. Do you believe that that's really possible? Well, something needs to be a counter to the World Economic Forum, doesn't it? Because they're installing their young leaders everywhere and we need to install some young leaders ourselves somewhere else. So we'll see, but you know, essentially you need it. people need to be courageous. That's, that's the only thing on our side. On their side, they're, they're, they're cowards, but they hang together. On our side, we are the same, but we don't stick together, so hopefully, We'll see some stickiness. Yeah, we were talking in the car on the way over. I was like, why? How come the left seems so extremely vicious and well organized? Mm He's -hmm. like, well, they've got each other because they usually, what they're saying doesn't make any sort of reasonable sense anyway. But when you are in a giant gang and sort of act like gangsters, then you get results. Whereas perhaps on the other side of the spectrum, we're more. Um, individual thinkers that perhaps do things for ourselves and don't need to run in gangs to do what we do in our day-to-day -day stuff. But I think we need to do that probably more. So the organisational stuff we need to do more of. Uh, really just for our sanity more than anything else. To know you're not as alone as you think you are over yeah. the last few years. Yeah. We're all out there. Uh, Lawrence Fox. Holly Valance, thank Pleasure. you so much for speaking to us here at the OCY and thank you for being here at ARC. Cheers, thank you.